In this video, I'm going to show you how I built these steps off my back landing. And these same techniques can be used to build a set of stairs inside your house. Uh, basement steps or steps to the second floor with just the materials being a little different. All the other uh, the process and the techniques are all the same. So, it's coming up right now. Our first step is to take a few measurements here to plan out our materials. So I'm going to end up moving these steps off the back deck to the center of the, of the back deck. So between my posts here, which is going to be the span of my steps, I got 57 inches. So I'm going to have four stringers. So if I take the thickness of those four stringers total would be six inches. From the 57 is 51 divided by three spaces is 17 inches between each face of the stringers. So the span for each step is going to be 17 inches. You could probably get away with maybe going up to 24 inches on centers and you might have a little bit of a spring to that step but it would probably be all right. So I need to know now what is the height of my steps. Now to measure the height of my steps I don't want to measure back here because it might not be accurate. I want to measure to the last step. I want to measure out here where the last step is going to be. So if I bring this up to level we got about 35 and 5 16. So the reason why I have to build these new steps is before I had concrete here I had gravel and it sat up a, a few inches higher so these steps were built for that. Um, but now you can see the steps are kind of leaning down and the other thing is is that my rise on these steps is 8 inches and that's about the max that you want but I know if, as you get older and like I have a couple older dogs and they're having trouble getting up those eight inch high risers so that's why I wanted to build another set of steps with an extra step so I can drop my riser down and build them for this space um, so I'm gonna try and go with a, a smaller riser about seven inches or so so and there is a formula so the formula states that your unit rise or the height of your step times the tread or the run of your step should be between 17 and 18 inches. So I'm going to go, I had 35 and 5 16 I'm going to have five total rises. So if I divide 35 and 5 16 by five, I get seven and a 16. So that's going to be the height of each step. So if I take that formula, 17 to 18 inches, subtract seven and a 16 that leaves me with basically uh, 10 to 11 inches. So my tread length is gonna be about 11 inches. That's gonna get me a nice comfortable stair. So I learned how to build stairs out of this book here. It's an older book, but it's been invaluable for me uh, for you know the houses and stuff that I built and building my own staircases. So it's called Basic Stair Building by Scott Shutner. And it, it runs through everything you need to know to build a set of stairs for just a, a simple set of stairs for a deck or a full basement or second floor stair in your house. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below uh, if you want to go check it out on Amazon. So here's a sketch of my stairs. Uh, my original estimate was that it was going to be 35 inches so I had seven for the height here but I'm gonna in reality I'm gonna be seven and a sixteenth and that should get me right on and this last one will be seven and a sixteenth but that face will be the face of the deck so I'm gonna have actually I decided to go with an eleven and a half inch tread because that's two of two of these put together that's five and a half five it's five and three quarters so that'll be eleven and a half for two of these deck boards so that's my tread length 
My risers are going to be 7 and a 16th. Now I have to cut my stringers out, out of a uh, 2 by 12 pressure treated. So you could lay out each one of these cuts by hand, but if, especially if you had a longer staircase and you wanted to get each one exact, you could use what are called stair buttons. And these go on your framing square. So I want this to be 11 and a half. And my other way to be 7 and a 16th. And double check those measurements because my square is pretty much unreadable. 7 and a 16th. 11 and a half. Okay, so if I'm going to start at the top here, I got to make sure I have 11 and a half across before I start cutting. So, just to give myself plenty of room, go somewhere in there. Now, this is the top of my stringer. This will be the first step down this will be the first thread this way. So you can see using these stair buttons keeps each one the same. Now I just move this down to the next to the line there and right where it intersects I can draw my next one. So this is what I have to cut out over here cut that out and so on. Looking at my sketch again, it's the top, one, two, three, I need one more. So what I did was measure back from the corner, 11 and a half inches, but I want to uh, cut that here. And that'll be the very top step but I want to shorten that up because if I use my samples here so my my top steps gonna be two boards wide which is 11 and a half inches but I'm also gonna face the riser with the same thickness board so I want this to hang over that like so so what this illustrates is that I need to cut this actually an inch and an eighth short of that eleven and a half to make up for the thickness of that riser. So I need to cut that there. So we have a similar situation down here in the bottom. So I got my my riser at seven and a sixteenth but I have to account for the thickness of my treads. So what I need to do is actually drop the carriage by that thickness for this first step and then as I go up because I'm adding a tread board on top of every run that my distance stays the 7 and a 16th here but for this first one I have to drop what's called dropping the carriage so I'll cut off an inch and an eighth on the bottom of this and that'll be my first step Also going to have to notch this for a 2x4 and put a 2x4 all the way through the bottom and that'll give me something to attach the stringers to to keep them from wobbling and also to attach it to the concrete if I want I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet or not but so that's got to be cut out for a 2x4 Thank you. 
You don't really want to overshoot those cuts to get it to go all the way through, so I like to finish it up by hand. So if you take your time and cut this first one as accurately as you can, then you can take this one and use it as a template for the rest. And then you'll have four of them all the same. So there you can see my new stringer compared to the old steps and you can see that's going to be a little bit uh, easier to manage set of stairs okay now time to cut the rest of them and assemble it I got everything cut out, ready to go. Uh, what I've done is, uh, my, my total width is 57 inches. If I subtract the thickness of each one of these stringers, that leaves me with 51. And if I divide that by three spaces, that's 17 inches. So I cut these at 17, I'm gonna put these between them, screw them through the stringers, and then I can attach to my deck through this. And then I'll start putting the steps and uh, or the treads and the risers on. Get this 2x4 installed. And then I have to reuse my 4x4s from my old steps. So I'll take those off and then get this attached. Get that old handrail out, move that over, and get rid of the old steps and be all set. So it would be a good idea to seal these edges that were cut, but I'm going to wait till spring to do that. I'm going to stain the, restain the whole back deck and I'll, I'll stain all these edges and seal them up at that time. So I'll just kind of temporarily put these treads on. What do you think, yo? Easy for jig anyways, right? I think I'll also get up underneath and screw from the back side right into the stringers to secure this even better. This will just kind of hold it in place while I'm working on it.
now I'm just going to put a couple screws in there, but I think I'm going to come back later and drill a hole all the way through and put like a six inch carriage bolt through that and, and uh, sandwich it together to make sure that that stays nice and firm. So I made a test cut um, and it turns out that it's right about 35 degrees is that angle. So now I need to mark my length. I guess I'll measure it. drill these with a little countersink to hide the screw a little bit better. Okay, for the balusters on my handrail, I'm using these I don't know if they're one by ones or what they're, they're about inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. They tuck up inside the ha top handrail. So at the top, at the top, I'm going to uh, finish nail it through the top, and on the bottom, I'm going to run a three inch screw up from underneath. Except for that first one, I had a toenail with a screw. So I cut myself a little block, four inches long. I have four inches between my balusters. So just get these all finished up and if this video brought you value, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see a complete series on building a deck with stairs and a ramp, then I'm gonna to link to a playlist that my friend Mike over at Grampy's workshop put on his channel and I'll leave that link in the description and it's also going to be right up here in this card and then over here in this other card uh, should be a video that YouTube thinks that you might want to watch so thanks for watching see you the next one